I have collected the best five star thrift store reviews in my hometown, and today we're gonna to put them to the test. My only rule for this challenge is to find five profitable items in each store that I can resell on eBay. And if I can give all four stores a five star review, I'll be putting my favorite find of the day up as a giveaway at the end of the video for one of you guys. Now, there is one thrift store in this video today that I have never been to. So it's gonna be really interesting to see whether or not I've just been missing out on a gold mine of an opportunity. We'll soon find out. All right, the first store of the day sees me at a Salvation Army. Damien has brought me out here. He says that this place gets the missus out of his hair, it allows her to shop all day, and she doesn't spend all of his money. Five stars. That sounds pretty fair to me, Damien. We've got five items to pick up in here. Let's see how we go. This should be fun. The first find of the day were these Nike Sakai Blazer Mids. Now, don't get me wrong, they're a fantastic pair of shoes. They were just a little bit small in size and they were asking $50 in store. So for that reason, I've left them behind, but I did pick up some shoes. These were the first ones here. These are the Nike Precision 2s. I reckon we're gonna get about $50 to $60 for the pair that I've got here. I'm only paying $15 in store. And I've also got some footy boots. I love picking up my ASICS footy boots. These Flash ITs go for about $50 on eBay and we're only paying the $14 in store, so that's gonna be pretty standard money for a pair of footy boots. Now, paying more attention on the Blu-rays, guys. We've got a $30 one here. We've also got another $20 one. We're paying $3.50 each in store, so seven into $50, that's just good maths. I've gone ahead and picked that up. Region B as well is what you wanna be looking for when you're playing in the Blu-rays. Now, this year, 50 cents a disc, and I found a, a Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games. It sells for 17, it's complete with manual. That's just free money. Uh, and then I've also found this, which is a really unique find. Never found it before, but a bit of past experience working in the footy industry. I know that these things do go on to sell for some quite good money. This is actually a Port Adelaide match ball. So Port Adelaide Football Club and the AFL actually use this football. Uh, good sponsorship branding with Coles there. We should get about, I don't know, 60, 70. Well, I think that's a pretty good start to our day. Five items secured. I think that match used football is going to be a really interesting one to see what it goes on to sell for. I've got a funny feeling the sell through rate uh, might help us out there. We might get that one done fairly quickly, 50 or 60 bucks, just paying the $2. Big thank you to Damien. Let's move on to the second store of the day. Monica Jones has brought me to this next op shop of the day. We're at a Vinnie's store. Now, Monica says this is the best op shop that she has ever been to. She found a true vintage skirt, looks like 70s or 80s, and mint condition purple suit. The haul of her dreams, she reckons, and the prices are affordable. Very friendly lady working there, and must see if you are on the Gold Coast five stars. Now, Monica, I am on the Gold Coast, and this is exactly what we're doing today, trying to find the best of the best. If you think it's the best store you've ever been in, let's go and put that to the test. Just found these. These are the Nike Zoom Gravity, and they're actually in really good condition. As you can see, the soles are good. It's a size, uh, it's a size nine. Women's, I think, as well. Women's size nine. And these are only 15, which isn't too bad either. So I think I'm gonna go ahead with those. After the shoes, I moved into the book section and I found a special that was running today, three for $5. And these are an incredibly expensive set of books. Believe it or not, they're a collectible set of foot trot flats. Now, we've got quite a number of books in here. If you've got the complete set, it goes for some pretty crazy money. We're talking $900 for the full 27 series set. Pretty insane, right? So I had a look, I wanted to make sure that these were definitely the first editions and they were definitely when they were first printed back in the 80s. So the next thing I needed to do was go through and just check everyone. And I noticed, as you can see here, that we've got a few double ups. So we don't have the full complete set one to 27, but I was curious to see just how many we did have. Now, the way it's worked out, we've got a set of five and we've also got a set of 12. And then there was another one down here that you'll see right at the very bottom, which is the Weekender series. So for that reason, we're actually gonna be able to pick up quite a number of listings here. I'm gonna break them up and sell them all individually. Some of these books go for 50 to $60 a piece if you were to sell them individually. So don't be afraid to find them and buy them. 
uh, if you find just single copies only. The later the book series, the more higher value it is. There's the Weekender. It sells for about 25. I'll sell that one separately. But what a crazy collection. We've got 18 books there. I've also got this too. A bit of a consolation prize to finish this little run. $25 for a PS2 game, which I thought was pretty good. Well, guys, that was absolutely incredible. To be able to find all of those books, Foxtrot Flats, or Foot Trot Flats, I should say, for just the $5, incredible. I've done a bit of further research as I was leaving the store. Now, this one here is issue number 27. On its own, it sells for $130. I actually messaged Mel back from Burnout, and I asked her if it was a first edition, and she said that it was a first Australian edition, originally printed in New Zealand. So I'm going to go ahead and list this up for $130 and then I'll bundle up the rest. There were a few doubles as you saw, but man, what a cool review. What an awesome store to go into and to find all of this for five bucks. We're talking like $300 worth of sales. Lisa has brought me to the third op shop of the day and this is the store that I've literally never been to yet there is signage right out on the main road, there's signage as you drive in and there's a big storefront right in your face as well. How I've missed this place I'll never know. Lisa said this is her favourite place on the planet. There's even a little coffee shop up here too which looks quite nice as well so we might have to try the coffee as well. This place just gets better and better, we've also arrived on half price day. Oh, sorry. As you can tell, it's a pretty standard process for me to walk into an op shop and go and check out the shoes. But for good reason, you get good ones. These are a fantastic pair. We should be able to go on to sell these for about 60 bucks. The Nimbus 23s, I've done these a few times in the past. They were only a women's size seven, but on half price day, 750 is not a bad purchase price, is it? I've got these as well. These are the Katmandus. These are the Mornington NGX. There they are there. So they actually go on to sell for about 80 bucks. This is a big buy. So 25 down to $12.50 in store. Uh, not too bad of a size there as well. So um, not too bad. Checked out all of the DVDs. Checked out all of the video games. Trust me, guys, I put in some hours. Well, by hours, I mean minutes. And I actually found a, quite a number of DVDs, but they weren't comping up to be anything over maybe $10 to $15. I ended up just leaving them. I'm trying to focus on higher average sale price type items in that category. Um, I had a look at the glass cabinet. I always look at the glass cabinet. These were $15 a piece. They intrigued me. I ended up going ahead with the purchase of those because they were only $7.50 today. And then I found a pair of men's shoes in the men's shoe section to end the day. We've got the Asics Gel Cumulus here. These are a really nice pair of shoes. They should go on to sell for about $50 yet again. And I'm only paying the $6 in store. So um, awesome, awesome store. Hey guys. Hello. You so you have the watches? I've got the watches as well, yeah. Three pairs so, of shoes. $7.50 times. Thanks very much. Have a good day. I've got to say, guys, that was incredible. We've got six items. The coffee was a five out of five itself. Um, this has just been a really eye-opening experience. I'm going to have to get back here soon. I seem to panic when I get into the glass cabinet of these op shops. The ladies kind of just hover around and they wait for you to decide what you want to do. And I really just want to pull the phone out and do some comp research and you just can't do it. So I saw Lego, I saw Star Wars, I thought $7.50, you can't go wrong. But sure enough, I walked out of the store and I realized that they only comp up to be worth about 20 bucks each. So after fees, postage, GST, all of the different expenses you've got to pull out as a seller, um, there's really not going to be any profit. It was technically a bad buy, but it keeps the dream alive because it was technically six items purchased and we're heading off to the fourth one now. All right, guys, we've made it to the fourth op shop of the day. We are at Lifeline and Nerissa has brought me here. She must have been speaking to me specifically because her comment was that there were cheap DVDs in this store. Remember, we are just five fines away from doing a giveaway at the end of the video. Hopefully, we can make this work. Let's see what she's got. I want to buy every single one of those watches. They would all go on to sell well. Hey, guys, check this out big allocation of DVDs. Just give me a couple of minutes and I'll work some magic and pull out some good ones for you. A dollar a disc though probably won't help us, but let's just see what we can find. Actually, bang, first one. There it is. Found this one last week. 
Goes for about 20 bucks, single disc. We're off to a flying start. Just found this one as well. Woohoo, Wiggly Gremlins. Anything by the Wiggles, anything with the original cast of the Wiggles always does well. And we've actually got a pretty decent disc in here. There's just some light scratches, but nothing too significant. That one should go on to sell for about $20 to $30. Just found this one as well, the Britta's Empire, the Complete Series 5. This one's just a single disc as well. It's, if you find multiple seasons of this show, it goes for some very good money. Um, disc is in really good condition too. So with a single disc, that will only cost us a dollar as well. It's not bad. Three for $3 and that should convert into 60 just found these as well. These are some big size US 17 Nike shoes. And it says on them they're a hyper quickness. Hyper quickness, US size 17, hardly been worn, lunar on on the bottom. Wild. Who the hell has got a size 17 shoe? Found these as well. We've got some Patagonia board shorts. They're just the $8. Um, they're a men's 36 waist, I think. Yeah. There it is there. 36 waist. But these are awesome. Now, we've hit the five out of five, but I kept having a look. Del Toro Quest. We've got a three, uh, fourth book set actually here, and this one goes into about 30 off an $8 purchase. This um, hardcover set of Secrets of Del Toro goes for about 30 to 35. So that one was only $4 in store. So the books were doing really well for us today. And then I really love these Nike Tiempo all leather footy boots, but unfortunately, just a bit of damage. Had to leave it behind. So the foot trot flats was definitely the best purchase of the day and because of that I'm feeling a little bit generous. We're going to give away these Kathmandu hiking boots. You should get about 80 bucks for them. All you need to do is enter the code word Kathmandu and be subscribed to the channel to be in the draw. Uh, if you missed the video that we did last week, it was actually the one star review. We've just done the five star today but the one stars were ticked off last week. There's the video for you right here. Go and check it out. We'll see you soon.